After we have installed and configured Internet Information Services and set up the web and FTP servers, we'll want to test them out with a command prompt and a simple web page we can make in Notepad. In doing this, we will test the web server's discretionary access control list directory permissions, anonymous access, directory browsing, and password protected website directories. We will also test the FTP server's anonymous access, that is read only, download, but no upload, and authenticated access, that is read write, download, and upload permissions. For security reasons, anonymous access needs to be download only, no upload. The reason is, anybody could upload contraband or bad files or things that might hurt the server. However, we'll also need authenticated access for people that need to upload. This video assumes you have already set up a web and FTP server. If not, please view those videos first before trying this one. You may find them at www.networkingprogramming.com or on YouTube under CGermany77. To keep it simple and concise, we will create a quick test page that will not require downloading or installing any special software or programs, just a built-in Windows text editor notepad. If you decide you want to get fancy with your web page or website later, you can always download Dreamweaver, our front page. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. Apparently there's some sort of high-toned and fancy to-do up at the fort, eh? How could it be? Two upstanding gentlemen such as yourselves.
can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. I wanna roll with the gangsters. But so far they all think I'm too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. This example does not require much HTML. You should be able to complete it in about 30 minutes. Pause the video to examine parts of the code you are working with. Use Google to find free images and sound files you can work with to practice coding the example and to test your web and FTP server setup. If you follow this example, when you download media files, you need to place them in the c colon backslash inetpub www root folder or the same directory as your HTML file. If you place them in subdirectories, remember you will have to adjust the code accordingly. Just too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white.